Welcome back to another installment of Julian's Random Projects. Here we're looking at the latest addition, uh, I guess, to the, to the house's fleet of vehicles here. Uh, I needed to get a different car. I had a Nissan Leaf that I was driving to and from work, which was an awesome little commuter. As ugly as all get out, um, and kind of a chick's car because it was blue. That monstrosity. I grabbed this guy because he's got... Um, the ability to both be charged, it's like a like an electric car, or uh, one of these little jobbies. You see these things? You toss it in. You can plug it in when you get home and top off your electric range. And then when it runs out of electric range, it switches over to gas. So you're not stranded like I've been plenty of times with the Nissan Leaf. The Leaf, the Leaf will probably go up for sale on Craigslist. Uh, you might also notice that little red roadster in a previous video has also gone. I'm trying to clear out the garage here and make room for other projects. Um, that one was a fun little thing. I'll do another video in the future on that. I was kind of a neglected car, um, and then I got it and spruced it up and moved it on. Uh, so today's video is a quick one. It's about debadging. I'm not a big fan of all of the clear indications that this thing is both a Chevy uh, and also that it is a Volt. Chevy Volt. Volt. All right, so one of the things I like to do to cars, uh, especially when they have really obnoxious badging like this, so it's like super clear that it's a Chevy, uh, or it's also bright, and, and to, in, in my opinion, it doesn't really match the dark color. I think if this was white and chrome, and this was kind of this gold color, it might kind of go together, but this dark color and this do not match. I would have just removed it, but it's built in. See, it's like this ridge here is all part of the same chrome plastic bit. And so if I, there's nothing to pop off. I mean, I think this inner piece here might come off, um, but then you'd be still left with the bow tie, the, the Chevy bow tie. Uh, the one in the back I'm confident will come off cleanly and I'll show you a nifty trick for removing those. So for this, I'm gonna use a product called Nightshades. It's uh, typically used for blacking out tail lights, but I, I, it's a, it goes on uh, translucent. I was gonna say transparent, but it's not entirely transparent, it's translucent. So let's see, uh, let's see how it turns out. So for whatever reason, uh, the front bow tie turned out a lot more hazy than the back one did. I don't know if that's because of the plastic they, they used or because I suck at painting. Uh, either way, I'm going to try and fix this up a bit. This one, as far as I'm concerned, is ready to just go back on. I planned on removing it completely, but it hadn't dawned on me that there would be these um, aligning tabs. And because of that, there's actually holes in the sheet metal of the trunk, and I'd have to plug those holes and uh, either have two different size holes in the back, or, you know, like plugs in the back of the car, or uh, fill them with metal and, like, sand it down and primer. It's like, I'm not that into this, so uh, I think I'll pass when it comes to that kind of stuff. So that made me go down the path of just painting it so that it didn't stand out as much. And I think that this, it's still... Um, uh, transparent or, or opaque a bit, you can see uh, inside, you can see some of the um, 
other layers to it, which is kind of nice. I'm not sure what it'll look like in bright daylight, but just did two coats um, on this and I'm gonna stop there because I think any, any more um, layers and we might start to lose some of that transparent effect and I might as well just paint it at high gloss black. And keep in mind, it's not pr producing light from behind it like a taillight would, which is what this product was originally um, designed to do, would be just to darken your taillights. Uh, so anyways, let's get, this is going to go on the car, see what that looks like later. And this guy's going to get polished up a little bit or as good as we can get it. Oh yeah, it's much better now. High gloss, it's just a single coat of clear on there. It's not perfect, but I'm calling it. Going back on the car. Oh yeah, it's a thousand times better. <laughs>